This week, we highlight another life well lived. Until 1973, the cockpits of American commercial airplanes belonged to men. That year, Emily Howell Warner became the first woman to take the controls. Emily was born and raised in Denver with her twin sister and four brothers. After high school, she worked at a department store, but was interested in becoming a flight attendant. Emily bought a ticket to ride on her first airplane to see what that job might be like. But she found herself much more interested in what the pilots were doing up front. Emily quit her job and went to aviation school, where she also earned money as the receptionist. Within a year, she had her pilot's license. At 21, she was a full-time instructor and eventually the school's chief pilot. While working for the FAA in the 1960s, Emily still dreamed of flying for a commercial airline, but she was rejected for what was deemed a man's job. Finally, in 1973, Frontier Airlines gave her a shot, and Emily became the first woman to be a permanent pilot for a major American airline. By 1976, she rose to become the first female captain, and a decade later, she commanded the first-ever all-woman commercial flight crew. Howell Warner was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in 2014. And today, her original Frontier uniform is on display at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington. Emily Howell Warner, an American pioneer in the sky, died this month in Littleton, Colorado. She was 80 years old.